Welcome to the vlog. Hello, it is currently January 3rd and I am about to jump into my first official big, big meeting at the top of the year for the work year. I've got four minutes before we have to jump on. I am still currently waking up. Also, if you guys missed the last vlog, a bunch of my friends and I did vision boarding last night, which was so much fun. I am up, I am ready. I made my coffee. I have it here in my unbothered and cozy club mug. If you guys remember this from last year, I am trying to ration out the last bits of my peppermint mocha creamer that I have and I really need this coffee right now because I need to wake up and I need to be ready for this call and I need to be alert alive awake enthusiastic the brain is still turning on right now here we go let's take a sip Oh, all the senses are tingling. Oh, that's delicious. Yes, okay. We're getting the good vibes going. I am going to jump onto this call and then I'm gonna take you guys along with me for the day. Nothing crazy, more of just like a work day. I also have to go get my hair extensions moved up, but that only takes like an hour. So this very important call is for one of the projects that I'm currently working on. If you guys remember in Vlogmas, I was saying there's like two things that I'm working on on top of everything else right now. And this is for one of them. So wish me luck. Fingers crossed. I'm here with Sid. Hi, Sid. And look at Zoe back there being so good. <laughs> She's just sitting there. We are moving up my extensions. My hair has grown. It's grown a little bit. Here they are, if you can see. This is how long they grew out. I'm keeping the length. Nobody scream, it's all good. They love the short Nobody hair. Scream. They love the short hair. It's not, It's like medium hair. Yeah. But I always come to the salon and I always get work done and I feel very productive when I leave. So, gonna edit. Yay! Hello all, hair's done. It looks exactly the same, but feels better. Look how cute this is. <laughs> Hello, mister. Oh, there's two of you. So cute. Oh my God, have a good day, guys. It smells like delicious, like Mediterranean chicken. Now I want that so badly, but we're gonna go home and we are gonna have a big team meeting for the new year. I'm so excited. Already off to a great start. Also, I get my hair done in like 45 minutes. It's so quick, so easy. I love it. It takes longer for me to drive than it does for me to get the hair done, but I love Sydney. I am home and I just made myself some lunch. I have here some leftover. It's like a Japanese sweet potato soup. It comes with Brussels sprouts. And then I also chopped up some turkey, which if you guys missed the last vlog, I didn't get enough leftovers at Christmas, so I've been wanting more turkey. So I cooked a whole turkey yesterday. We got a whole turkey to make sandwiches with. It's delicious. Cal, you did a great job carving her. Thank you so much. And Thank I- Thank you for making it. You're so welcome. I chopped it up and I added it into my soup for extra protein. This is like a gluten-free, dairy-free. It's from the Goop Kitchen, which I tried this for a video on the main channel. And I get like two whole meals out of it. And adding the turkey makes it really nice and protein-packed. And it's honestly so good for a cold day. Good morning, guys. It's the next morning. Hello. I can't remember when I last talked to you guys, but I believe it was actually at like the beginning of the work day. I ended up having a super long work day. I ended up wrapping with everybody around like six and then I worked until seven and then I ate some dinner. Cal and I watched a bunch of YouTube videos. I made him watch a lot of K-pop last night and then we went to bed. I'm now up, it is 6.59 a.m. and I am about to head to the gym. Today is a very, 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 very exciting day. We are about to meet with our wedding planner for the first time to start our wedding planning process. I'm so excited. It's gonna be so much fun. I can't wait to take you guys along with me. In the last vlog, I was talking about how this was coming up soon and how I'm gonna document little bits for you guys on the vlogs, but like nothing too, too crazy. But I am actually filming everything also on the side. And then I'm gonna hold on to that footage. And then, you know, whenever we decide to have our wedding like closer to the date, I might put like a series out leading up to the actual wedding if you guys are interested in that or if I wanna do that, but that's not gonna be for a while. So I don't wanna bore everybody with too much wedding stuff this early on, but I'll still take you guys behind the scenes here and there for like the big things. Like obviously the first meeting today, when we go dress shopping, food tasting, all those big things I'll take you guys with all the little like middle things I won't bore you with. But yes, it's gonna be so much fun. Before then though, let's get to the gym. Time to work out. I'm trying to decide if I wanna have pre-workout or not. Oh my God, look at this. I just woke all the pups up and please look at her. Just staring at me. Hello. Hello. Also, almost all the Christmas decor is down. We forgot to grab the Christmas tree bag, so those are gonna go down today. And everything else is down and it feels so empty and I would say sterile, but it's like, it's not that clean in this house right now. I definitely have to clean, but it feels empty now. I wanted to get to the gym at seven. It's now 7.03, so I'm like 10 minutes behind. So I'm gonna go to the gym and I'll see you guys there.
Hello, everybody. Hello. We're both morning. wearing our Fabletics today. Good morning, everyone. All right, I'm home. I got a pretty good workout in. I did like 20 minutes of cardio, and then I did like 25 minutes of arm workouts. I did a pull day today, so I'm gonna be sore tomorrow for sure, but we're home, and I'm gonna cook up some breakfast for us before our big day. We have a lot of leftover bacon from the holidays, so get that cooking up. We're just doing some bacon and eggs. Gotta go shower pretty soon. I'm gonna eat and then make a coffee and then we got a shower because I got to get ready for today. I was like thinking about wearing, you know, like a white dress, but that that just is like, that's too much. I'll incorporate some sort of white though. Maybe I'll wear like a white shirt or, or something. Do Are you, you have to wear white? <laughs> I want to for the momentous occasion. Are you wearing white with me? No. We got eggs cooking. We got bacon that's crispy. We're also doing a little avocado toast. We're sharing that. We are obsessed with the new XG song, right Cal? Right. I got my frother going, making me some delicious frothed almond milk with peppermint mocha creamer. How nice. Choosing a vanilla pod today. Yes. OG Rem Life viewers know. Got my avocado toast. Put my egg on top of that. Everything but the bagel seasoning. Oh. That's so much. I love it. And sriracha. Oh, yes. Hello, everybody. Okay, I took a shower, uh, an everything shower. I'm feeling fresh and clean and amazing. And now I'm about to do my makeup. But before then, I wanted to share with you guys this product that I've been very into. I got it on Amazon. I think it's like seven or eight bucks or so. And I'm pretty sure it's going to last a long time. I will link her down below if you guys are interested. But it is a fine jewelry cleaner. It's for gold, platinum, and diamonds. When you open it, it has this like blue liquid on the inside and this little plastic tray situation that you lift out with a little baby brush. And all you do is you drop your jewelry in there. So I'm gonna clean my engagement ring as well as these nasty earrings that I have. Just drop them all in there. And you wanna leave it in for I think 20 minutes max. Oh, no more than 30 minutes. So I'm gonna do 30 minutes cause they are dirty. I'm just gonna do my makeup while I let them sit and then you can like scrub it off, you rinse it and they're so clean. It's so easy, it's really inexpensive. So I'm gonna do my makeup, drink my coffee, Coffee, watch a little YouTube. Oh no, I spilled some powder on the floor. And I will come back when I am all dolled up. Okay. Hair, I think I'm just gonna put it like in a half up, half down with a clip. It's like 80% dry, but we do have to get going. I took too long doing my makeup and making TikToks, but here's the makeup, nothing crazy, just my usual. I'm gonna give a little curl to the lash. Look at those lashes, you guys, seriously. Getting a lash serum was the best thing I ever did for my lashes. There we go, okay. Now I need to choose my perfume for the day. Oh, outfit by the way, I'm wearing this little sweater dress that I got from Free People. I think it's cute. I do wish it had like a, you know, like a little like band in the middle. I feel like breaking it up always makes it a little bit cuter, but I mean, I still like it. It's comfy, it's casual enough, and then I'm gonna wear uh, some like nude boots with it. But let's choose our perfume for the day, which I feel like is very important considering this is a very important day. I cannot get you guys to be straight. There we go. Okay, okay. what perfume do I wanna wear? Okay, I think I'm gonna wear Delina, which is like a very fancy fragrance. Fun fact about this one. First of all, I only wear it for very special occasions. Second of all, the reason why I bought this is I went on a brand trip and I sat next to Amanda Diaz and who's like the most stunning person I've ever seen in my life. And when I sat down, this smell wafted through the air and I'm like, I don't do this often. I was like, what are you wearing? And I wrote it down and I bought it as soon as I got home. And it was that perfume. And if Amanda Diaz likes it, then you know it's, it's, it's good. It's luxury. Here is the final look. Don't mind all the Christmas stuff that's going away, but here's the look. Here's the dress. We've got these boots on. These are my boots from Macy's and then my new bag that I just put in a haul a couple of hauls ago. It's what I got myself for Christmas from the mall. And I don't think I showed you guys the little clip that I added in my hair. Oh, hi, Kel. Hi. This is my little bride clip that I got from a PR package. So super cute. Little baby touch of bride, but not too annoying. Am I right, Kel? Right. <laughs> Outfit of the day. Hi. Hi. I'm wearing, I forgot what these pants are from. Uh, black uh, pants. I believe these are Abercrombie jean jacket. Yes. Zara black shirt. Yeah. The usual, you know, and the Y3 bag. Very nice. And no shoes. I'm just going to go with socks. Sweet. We're getting married. <laughs> yeah. Not, not for a while, but we're getting married. Hello, all. We arrived. Yay. Yay. 
Yay! Are you excited? I'm very excited. How do you feel? Excited. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm nervous. I'm super nervous. I'm so excited. It's gonna be nervous and fun. We made our, we've made quite a few lists, but we started with like a lot of people right when we got engaged. And then we were like, oh, that's a lot of people actually. So we've like dwindled the list down. I think we're at where we want to end at, but we need to go in because we are right on time. Let's go. Let's go. Let the wedding planning begin. Right. Look at this little setup. Oh my God, this is so cute. Cal, did you see the bar? I did, I yeah. just slurred my words because I'm nervous. Really, I think there's different options where we can do like kind of floating divider walls, like kind of the drapes and things like that that all still fit with like the open air whimsical aesthetic. Mm -hmm. That was so much fun. Now, Cal and I came to Sautel Mizu 212. We're gonna get shabu shabu for lunch because it's chilly. Got our shabu shabu here. Look at how good this looks. I'm so excited. Lunch was fantastic. It was amazing. Uh, I'm so full. The sun's out. It's so beautiful. So we have our options for dessert, but I think we're going to do boba right there. There's a yi fang there, but this is bee sweet cow. They okay. have a specialty bread puddings there. Oh. Any flavor you can imagine. That's, oh, I kind of want the creme brulee crepe actually. <gasps> that sounds really let's, good too. let's share that in a boba. Okay. <laughs> See what you, do you want like a variation? No, I want just plain. Just plain? Yes. Do you want whipped cream on it? No okay, whipped cream. Whipped cream. Okay. okay, you want whipped cream. Yeah, yeah. Let's get whipped cream. No, I thought you wanted it. Oh, I no. Okay, yeah, no whipped cream then. Let's go. <gasps> it's so beautiful. Hello all, updates. I feel like I have a hair on my like eyebrow and it's irritating me, hello? I definitely spent like two hours on FaceTime with Alicia just literally chatting about random things and making little uh, crafts, which I will show you later. I've been wanting to make them for so long and I just wanted to unwind a bit and do that, so I did that. Also had a little work stuff to get taken care of, not too much work stuff today. Also cleaned up the office. During Christmas, this was my little Santa's workshop and there was stuff everywhere and now it is super clean, looks great, love to see it. We were trying to figure out what sounded good for dinner and if you guys watched the last vlog, I made a whole turkey just to make turkey sandwiches and I haven't had a turkey sandwich yet. So we're gonna do turkey sandwiches. We still have leftover stuffing. We have a little bit of white bread here. Cal wants provolone cheese and then I am a big believer in mayonnaise and cranberry sauce on your leftover sandwiches. People might not like it, I love it. Okay, step one to a fantastic Thanksgiving or Christmas leftover sandwich. I mean, wash your hands, obviously. The ring is gonna come off and we have to get every ingredient, every layer prepped. So I have here, I'm walking through a tutorial. The stuffing, which I will leave the link down below to the recipe that I use as kind of a baseline. I added a bunch of my own stuff, but it was a delicious, stuffing and I have been doing the stuffing eggs. I will say I took a few days off the stuffing eggs, but they're so good still. And I've got my pan back here getting hot. I'm just gonna put some oil down on the pan and you gotta get the stuffing nice and thin and crispy. I actually would love to like make it a, like a round almost. Should I try that? I don't know if it'll stick. That's my only thing, but I kind of want to do it. I guess I could mix maybe some egg in with it or something. This might be kind of gross too, but I'm, I'm intrigued. I'm having an idea, babe. Mm-hmm where you mix the stuffing with an egg as a binder and make the stuffing into like a patty. Can I have one egg, please? Cal is uh, a little bit freaked out by my idea. You don't have to do that for mine. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try cracking our egg. Why well, dirty up a fork, you know? We're gonna pour a little egg into our stuffing mixture, just a little bit to act as a binder. Gonna make it all smushy and stick together, I think. Similar to like making meatballs, you know? Gotta all stick together. Okay, that's looking good. Now let's form our patties. Honestly, I've had worse ideas before. I have. And you'll never know unless you try. And that goes with everything in life. Remy's inspirational quote of the day. Here we go. A sausage stuffing patty. I want it to be like the exact same size as the bread, so it's almost like a third piece of bread, you know? Okay, here's our patty. Now I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna try and keep it all together. All right, now we have my turkey. The skin did not get crispy at all because my mom stole my roasting pan from me and I don't think I'm getting her back. So I had to do it in a disposable one and it basically was just like sitting in all the juices. So nothing about it got crispy, that's okay. I'm gonna crisp this up for Cal's sandwich though. And we're gonna do some good, oh my God, I'm like Kendall and her cucumber, good slices of turkey. This is exactly why I wanted to make my own so I can choose the thickness. 
Let's go this way instead, much better. <laughs> Good old slices of turkey. And I'll save this to crisp up for Cal's sandwich. All right, I put the skin on with the stuffing. I flipped the stuffing, it worked pretty well. I'm gonna nuke the uh, turkey with a wet paper towel on top so it doesn't get too dry. For my sandwich, I'm just gonna do I'm gonna try and slice one piece of bread in half because these are like super thick pieces of bread and I think I could do it. Daddy hand, daddy hand. There we go, thin pieces of bread that can get nice and crispy. My George Foreman grill is uh, heating up behind me which is key to a delicious sandwich. And now we can begin to assemble. All right, first up, mayo on both sides. <gasps> Earthquake, you feel that? There was an earthquake. You didn't feel it? No. Oh my God, I felt an earthquake. The way that I'm absolutely unfazed considering I've grown up in Southern California my whole life. No earthquake was scarier than when I was in eighth grade. And I think it was like a high four, maybe like low five magnitude. And I came home and all my stuff was knocked off the walls in my room. All my trophies, all my decor, all my pictures, everything. And then when I lived in my apartment complex, I was on like a very high floor and uh, an earthquake happened on the 4th of July. And I don't know the magnitude of that one, but the whole, because the apartment complex was built on roll which is safer so that the building doesn't just crumble. But being so high up, it was swaying. It was like, zhoo, 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 zhoo. it was crazy. Salt and pepper. Our grill is ready, but I am not ready for the grill yet. You can do cranberry on both sides. I choose to do it on just one side tonight, but pick and choose whatever you prefer. I feel as though this is imperative. If the sandwich doesn't have this, I don't want it. Truly, I'm okay. I'll do it on this side for Cal. And then Cal wants cheese, so you gotta put the cheese on the other side of the bread so that it can get really nice and melty right there. And then we got our turkey that we've heated up. It's right here. Gonna lay her down nicely. Yes, stack it nice and high, high to the sky. Boom. And then our sausage patty, not sausage, stuffing patty. Look at that, slides right on, looks perfect. Close her up, that looks amazing. Other one, let's go. Stuffing on the crayon. Crispy turkey skin right on top for Cal. Wow, Cal, yours is a monster. And now we grill. <laughs> Look at your monstrosity of a sandwich. Oh my God. <laughs> it's really big. That is huge. Right on top. And then we close with the hinges. Oh my goodness. And to make it really nice and flat, I like to take my Dutch oven. <laughs> Put it on top of the Foreman grill. <laughs> These are done. Sometimes they're kind of hard to pull off the panini press if I uh, do it wrong, but I think they're okay. We got a slice. You want a diagonal, Cal? Yes. Always a diagonal. Ooh, hoo, hoo. oh my gosh. Wow. <gasps> okay. Isolate it. People were saying I need gravy to dip into. We don't have any gravy though. It's still so good as it is. Here's mine. It's steaming. <gasps> Absolutely. Fire. Will I do the stuffing thing again? No, it's kind of honestly flopping. And the cranberry sauce made it kind of soggy. So I think that's why I was having issues. I don't care, still tastes good. All right guys, that about wraps up this vlog. I'm gonna enjoy my dinner and get ready for bed. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Thank you so much for watching. I cannot wait to share the wedding process with you guys as it goes on. We definitely have a lot of time before everything's happening. So it's nice to just enjoy this lull. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Love you. Oh my God, my hair looks like a jellyfish. Love you, bye.